In fall of 1987, Ed and Janie Taylor left their lives in Greenville, North Carolina and moved to Greensboro. They accepted the pastorate of a church and renamed it Faith and Victory Church of Greensboro. The journey for this young church had only just begun. In the spring of 1988, we had a guest speaker in, and at the end of the service, um, we were uh, just around the platform praying. I, I saw, as I stood on the earth, looking up to the sky, dark, dark clouds over the entire area. And um, as, I, as I was looking at the clouds, uh, I was taken up. And when I got to the clouds, I could see there were demon spirits locked arm in arm covering the whole arena, whole area. And suddenly a shaft of light came up out of the, uh, from the earth, from this, this area. The Lord spoke to me when that shaft of light came up and said, that's the prayers of the saints. And so those, those demon spirits rolled back. Jesus came down, picked up the earth, the liquid drops of light began to fall on it. And then a revival started. The revival started here in, in the Greensboro area and it spread up and down the Eastern seaboard of the United States of America. I saw a building, and and I knew in my spirit it was it was our building. Now, not necessarily the actual building, but figuratively, it was a square building with revolving doors on all four sides. And at each door, people were coming as far as the eye could see, um, and they were dark. There was no life in them. There was no light in them. And they went through the revolving doors and came out full of life and full of light. And um, Jesus said. There will be a revival that was starting. It will spread the eastern seaboard of the United States of America. In their efforts to find a home from which this plan of God could be carried out, Faith and Victory Church moved to lease a building for many years. God showed himself mighty in many respects and worked miracles, signs, and wonders. Suddenly, the doors of this building were closed to the church, and they were forced to move to a community center before borrowing a church building in the midst of a worldwide pandemic. But God was calling his people home. I began to sense in my heart, we weren't going back into the community center, um, that we were not actually gonna leave the year without our own place. And at that time, it didn't look possible. We didn't, there was nothing there, nothing available. And um, after making bids on certain places that were falling through, didn't work out, really weren't ideal. This opportunity opened, and we thought, well, that's a little bit far out from what we wanted, but then all of a sudden, it just seemed right, and the church came out here, and they all went, this is home, and um, so we made an offer. It was accepted. We moved in uh, in January of this year, uh, January 28th, actually, as we closed, had our first service that the 30th, and there's been something so supernatural and stirring to, to myself, to this congregation, about we have our own place. We have five plus acres of land. Uh, we have a building that is a church. It wasn't converted, it was, it, it was a church. Um, we have room to build, we have room to operate from, room to carry out the purpose of God for our ministry. And um, so our, our history is a foundation, but it's also our church dedication, the launching into a new era, the launching into um, seeing that foundation, upon that foundation of these years of faithfulness, of steadfastness, of unshakableness, uh, weathering the storms of ministry and of life, to see now we go forth. We go forth with renewed um, insight. We go forth with renewed zeal. We go forth now into a new era where the foundation that has been built, now the building is constructed and built upon it and rises up. And where others may have seen ashes and dust, we see the structure of the calling and purpose of God coming to fulfillment. And as we move into this new era, we celebrate the history and homecoming. We celebrate the future in this dedication. And we go forth with a renewed sense of we are called of God to carry the mandate to the nations in Jesus' name and to see God work in ways we haven't seen him work yet and to be a part of this great and mighty in gathering in the last days 
We're so excited for our past. We're so excited for our future. And we're just rejoicing in the present of all that it represents and means. Expedition Church, welcome home.